Uh, so what are you telling potential clients and current clients on how to best weather and manage their wealth through the volatile times? Yeah, we manage uh, wealth for our clients to help them meet their long-term goals. So I think we are advising clients to always stay investor and diversified. But clearly, um, this, from a tactical standpoint, this is uh, probably a bit more choppy time that we are entering into. I think we are of the view that we are entering into late cycles. And at this point of the cycle, um, equity markets tend to be a bit choppy, although there will be a wide divergence of how different sectors uh, perform. So selections will be key. Um, on the other hand, we have been uh, underweighting fixed income for quite a number of years as uh, interest rates hit the multi-year lows, and now with yields back up, we are beginning to see some value there. So we are advising our clients to start uh, adding duration through investing into high-grade investment-grade bonds. Yeah, that's right. I, I mean, you have to also factor in the potential of overshoot at the Fed uh, and the potential risks that there might be recession, how, however long that might potentially be, as well as in Europe. Yeah, so I think our base case is that the U.S. will be able to engineer a soft landing. And, and on that basis, I think, you know, uh, and especially clients are investing for the long term, there are pockets of opportunities that we can begin to look mm -hmm. at. But clearly, I agree with you, the risk of uh, recessions uh, is increasing. Uh, Fed is getting increasingly hawkish. And I think you've seen the tightening in the financial conditions. That's going to uh, take a toll on the economy. What's, sure. the, what's the risk appetite of most of your clients right now? Well, obviously, given the volatilities that we've seen, um, clients are generally cautious. Uh, but this is where you can really help to uh, help them look at the long term, because so, the money is really for, to help them meet their long term goals. And uh, stay investor will be important. But obviously, um, risk management is another thing we look at. So as long as clients are not overly leveraged, um, I think values are beginning to emerge. And I mentioned about fixed income. That's clearly another area that we have fairly high conviction. You're right. On. How have you seen the assets under management grow? I mean, the last couple of years, uh, I would assume 2021, 2020, uh, pre-pandemic as well, was, was quite blistering growth. Uh, how is that? being shaped as well through some of this volatility uh, this year? We've been very fortunate. I think Asia has been growing at a much faster pace than the rest of the world. And we've seen um, quite a significant amount of wealth creation. So obviously, we've benefited from that. And you rightly pointed out, the last couple of years were actually record years for us in uh, Asia's history. So that helps to uh, probably give us a much you know, uh, stronger launch, launch pad. Uh, to grow our business from here onwards. Uh, but Q1 has been challenging. I think we can see it for ourselves. Capital markets around the world have all fallen. And in fact, almost all asset classes have fallen. Um, and so uh, some of the uh, uh, less than one correlation that we usually observe in asset classes uh, wasn't there in, in Q1. So challenging time, but we've seen it before. We are in the business yeah. of managing risk. We've seen volatilities like that before. So And everyone I've talked to at this summit have been talking about you're in it for the long haul, right? So what does that mean for hiring? I saw a report in January uh, that you were looking at hiring at more than 100 new private bankers uh, for to service your clients. Can you give us an update on your hiring? Practices. Yeah, we Pop. have been, you know, uh, as I mentioned, growing our assets under management in the last four or five years. Our expectations are that they will continue to grow at a fast pace, and we hope to double again in the next four or five years. And we need to plan for the long run. I mean, talent uh, needs time to be grown and developed. So we can't be hiring today for, for the business today. We need to hire uh, for the long-term growth. So our hiring plan remains. Uh, not with, we are not you know, doing business for the next one quarter. It's for the next one year, two, three, five years. So uh, we continue to stick to our growth plan. And, and, and clearly, um, the other challenge and constraining factor is, is really talent pool. Yeah. So if, as long as but we is that can constrained? get people. Is that constrained? Is that difficult, given the pandemic and the restrictions of travel, to, to find the right people? 
Yeah, the talent pool has always been challenging, uh, <laughs> yeah. even before uh, the pandemic, right? Because uh, the industry is growing faster than I think uh, our ability to grow the talent pool. And so we have always adopted a two-prong approach. We don't just hire from the industry. We actually um, groom and develop our own talents. We hire them from colleges and MBA schools and put them through training programs. So that become a steady source of talents for us, which is very important. How have the closed borders in China, though, prevented you from building up boots on the ground presence in mainland China yeah. rather than run it from Hong Kong? Yeah, so we, we basically cover our clients' uh, offshore wealth. So we, we, we don't, we don't uh, manage their onshore wealth. But yes, you are right. I mean, the COVID uh, lockdown has uh, greatly limited our ability to uh, travel and to interact clients who are on the ground. That's, that, that, that's uh, definitely a bit of the headwinds. Um, but fortunately, I think technology is really uh, amazing, uh, notwithstanding the fact uh, that we have pockets of lockdowns in parts of Asia, not just China. I mean, the last couple of years, right, uh, different parts of Asia have seen different degrees of lockdowns. But we've been managed, we have been able to manage, you know, continue the communication with clients. Yeah. You're in the business of relationship management, right? It's exactly. a little bit more difficult uh, doing it over Zoom or video link. But uh, how have, through this lockdown periods in China being locked down, how have you been able to, to perhaps focus on other areas, whether it's Southeast Asia or other areas that you see great opp greatest opportunity? Our clients are actually scattered all across uh, the entire Asia. And so, um, and that's the beauty of our business. I guess that's a bit of, you know, kind of a, um, a complementary angles to all this. So, but if you look at the growth rate uh, the past few years, we've seen actually equally strong growth across all the different economies in Asia. And so I, we, uh, our expectation is that is, that trajectory will continue in the next few years. And that headcount, is that number right that I talked about, about 100 hires this year for your well, private bank? We, so we, we uh, continue to grow. I mean, we are planning to add more, uh, for sure, uh, advisors uh, in the region. Uh, but I mentioned, right, um, at the end of the day, it depends on the availability of the right type of talents. Right. Um, so if you get the right type of talents, yes, we, we are still hiring. <laughs> <laughs> All right.